Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the SCR um, that I purchased the uh, bow catcher um, and uh, I'm experiencing mine having a very difficult time to get the factory star um, to get removed this piece here as you can see I kind of like uh, scratch all these up here so right now after I break it loose now it came out very easy, but as you can see during the process, all these are damaged. I won't say damaged, but scratched off, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, the method that I use, I'm gonna show you guys. If I were to put this back right now, it's gonna be pain in the ass to take this out again. So this is the bow catcher on the video that I saw that uh, from uh, from YouTube, uh, the guy, they, he did it very easy. Just remove this pin here, the tick down pin, there's two tick down pin, you pull them out and then you pull the upper away and then all he has to do is take this and then he grab this little like a like this piece that is sticking out I'm gonna show you and then the guy just literally just slide this right out. In mine unfortunately it didn't work this way so mine I have to go through hell to try to get this out. So uh, what I what I when I call the uh uh, manufacturer they say we'll have to use a plunger so I want to show you this is what I use I loop this whole thing with WD-40 and uh, this is the method that finally get this piece out then I take something like this like a plunger that has a flat you know bottom so what I do is I rest it against this piece that's sticking out over here and then as you can see and then I'm start hitting it with a hammer and that's how I'm getting all these uh, scratch marks here. So if you can find something uh, smaller with a plunger, you put it over here and you gotta make sure you rest this somewhere that can give you support. You put it like this and then you hit it with a, with a hammer just like that. So you hit it down and then that thing will come out. So other than, other than that, this piece is like no way to get it out. The reason I'm getting all these little scratch here is because first, as you can see from this original piece, I, I actually clamped a needle nose in here into this hole and I was pressing against here and then I was actually hammering the needle nose. And then, uh, and I was hammering so hard, this thing never budged. So I actually called my fan and said, well, you know, I couldn't get this thing to come off to replace the bolt catcher from you guys. Well, they say that some model are extremely tight, but uh, you have to stick a plunger in with that little piece that's sticking out here and you will have to hit it. And then you have to try a couple of times. So once I did that, um, it took about um, five hammer hit. Finally, this piece came out. I tell you how tight this piece is. So. I'm so afraid to put this back in and then I have to set this up again. So I was like, man, I'm just gonna leave it halfway out to make this video. So now I'm gonna install my brand new bolt catcher into the peas now. But as you can see, the gun's already scratched. So I'm just making this video so that whoever had to do this don't have to go through the same process that I have gone through. So this thing, the bolt catcher actually slide in very easy. You can just remove them, but it slides in just like that. So compared to what I have to do earlier, man, this has just gone through hell to try to get this thing out. But there you have it. So all you have to do is uh, push this two tick down pin out of the way. And then uh, let me just stick this in there. And now we install back into the gun and there you have in a bolt catcher. So this piece run about $40 from Fight Light Industry, but it's worth the effort. But this guy, I almost have to send my gun back to get this guy out, but I'm glad I did it. And, uh, and uh, thanks for watching guys.